Uh, thank you for joining us. I'm the, we're the folks who believe that the Bible is true and the evolution theory is dumb. Worse than dumb. It's dangerous. If you believe you came from a rock, you need help. But no one teaches that we came from a rock. This is just Kent's favorite straw man. Somebody sent me today, and I just put it out on my Facebook. I don't know if you're on my Facebook or not, but I'm not even sure what Facebook is, actually. But Funny, because you've put out two personal challenges to me in the last two days on your Facebook page, Kent. And I wouldn't even know about it if people hadn't forwarded them to me, because you still haven't figured out how to make those posts public. Is it possible you really don't want me to see the posts, Kent? Or is it time for you to just grow a pair? <clears throat> they called... Uh, Jack Horner, the guy in Montana that has the Evolution Museum, you know, teaches evolution. And they offered him $10,000 as a do donation to their museum if he would have the piece of the soft dinosaur tissue that was found carbon dated. Hello? Hello, Jack. This is Bob Enyart with KLTT Radio in Denver. Uh-huh. How are you doing? Good. Jack, I sent a letter to Bob Harmon a few weeks back offering the museum a grant of $8,000 to do a carbon-14 day test of that soft tissue T-Rex you guys dug up. And he said he would forward that to you. And I'm wondering mm -hmm. if you saw that or considered it. Carbon-14 doesn't His, work on something that old. I, I understand that. Well, we can't do that test. You can't do that? No. Do you mean the museum doesn't have the laboratory? We certainly don't. Okay, well, we're happy to pay the expense of having a lab do the test in addition to the $10,000 to the museum. It's soft tissue. Take it into carbon date it. And the, the whole phone call is uh, uh, recorded, and they said we'll, we'll pay for the testing, carbon dating, and we'll give you a $10,000 donation. We just would like the soft tissue, dinosaur uh, tissue, carbon dated. Do you know how carbon-14 works? Yeah, I'm familiar, and I realize it's useless for anything over maybe 50,000 years or so. And he hemmed and hawed and danced around it for a long time. He said, well, I'd like to know who wants this done. Is this a bunch of creationists? Sure. All right. Obviously, your group is a group of creationists. Yes. Um, Jack, is the amount too small that it's just not worth the consideration? No, that's not it. Okay. Um, what if I were able to raise more money? No, that the amount of money has nothing to do with it. Mm -hmm. um, because carbon-14 doesn't work on something like this, right? your results that you get could be all over the place. Did you hear that, Kent? Carbon-14 dating is not the proper method to be used on something we know is that old. Jack, it doesn't matter. Listen carefully. Dinosaurs did not live millions of years ago. You are teaching a lie. Now, you might really believe it. I don't question I believe you probably do. Yeah. So even though it's just a scientific test, they're, they're not well, asking it's, for it's voodoo not a, It's not actually a scientific test. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Maybe Dr. Mary Schweitzer can explain it to you. I tried during our debate, but it didn't sink in. It's the most common way for dinosaur growing sediments to be dated is what we call relative dating. A relative dating is grounded by absolute dating if you have any kind of volcanic activity. So... Where I work, there's an, uh, a lot of mountain building activity at the time of the dinosaurs. So we do have um, seams of, of um, volcanic material and ash that can be dated absolutely. So we use absolute dating to bracket the youngest and oldest potential times for the sediments that bear our fossils. And then we use relative dating techniques within that bracket to figure out exactly where it lies. But it's not true, okay? God made everything in six days. That bugs me. Why would God try to trick us? And Satan has been using dinosaurs for 180 years now to teach a whole bunch of boys and girls about evolution. It's his favorite tool, and we are sick of it. So we're going to have Dinosaur Adventure Land and teach kids the truth about dinosaurs. They were big lizards that lived with Adam and Eve. Anyway, 
What most young earth creationists don't realize is that dinosaur soft tissues have been dated using the carbon-14 method. They just won't accept the results because it doesn't fit what they wanted to hear. I'm just glad that while Kent Hovind sits in the middle of Nowheresville, Alabama waiting for donations for Dinosaur Adventureland, I'm able to reach thousands of children talking about the truth of evolution.